Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Gala, we are trading at 0 0.05148. 24 hour volume, we're down 2.97%. Market cap, we are down 4.69%. Okay, so heading over to the daily chart here, you guys, we can see, again, we are retracing basically all across the board because Bitcoin is down, that we are looking areas of opportunity for the price to basically hold support and then see some type of pullback back scenario. Again, like the other videos that I have today, we can see the previous candlestick here has already crossed over and initiated that on our RSI of having an RSI of 97% and 80. And we see the crossover considered to be overbought already because we're past the 80%, but also gives us a signal that we could possibly be selling at this point. Now, if we take a look at our MACD indicator, what actually happened here as price was coming up to retest our 50% or 50 MA, we got rejected down because again, consider considered to be overbought on our RSI, but not only that, an expansion of the momentum of the bear market, because overall trend, you guys, what we can see is that it is a bear market for, um, for card <laughs> for gala because we are multiple under or we are underneath multiple moving averages. If we take a look at our hundred moving average, which is the white line here, we, if we go back, we've always been below it except for here essentially, but that was all the way back in February. So it's been months now for Gala to be considered as a primary of a bear market itself. So we need to come back and we can see that the level or the spaces in between our 100 moving average on a daily time frame and the actual price, it is closing in. So in the next couple of days or so, we are hoping for Gala to retest this area of confluence because we need to be able to see that reverse itself. So it has been multiple months, but let's take a look at the capture that we have for today as prices are coming to a stop. We can see again, price as low as the 0 0.05080. We are kind of struggling in the last couple of hours or so, kind of retracing back to the 61%. If we take a look at areas of opportunity of our volume indicator, we can see again, here's the 100 compared to where the price that we have right now, it's smaller, smaller nodes. So the likelihood of the momentum of the MACD, if it does start to increase, we won't be holding at the 0.05002 here because the momentum is strong because on a daily average, we see the RSI is considered to be overbought. Let's take a look at different time intervals here too. So taking a look at our four hour time interval, we can see selling pressure as the actual session of this four hour time frame was seen near the bottom itself. We can see some type of buying pressure retracing closer to this 50% here that we have our 50% uh, 50 moving average itself. We can see multiple tests of rejection and then skyrocketing here as a test as well. We can see the MACD indicator. The signal line is simply right here and we can see the uh, MACD line right here as well. So an expansion is going to continue to occur of our uh, MACD line. We do see the RSI retracing at zero and then 0 0.95 for our D line itself. It is going to switch. However, there is still more wiggle room for this price to continue to come back down. If we take a look at three hour time frame, again, expansion in our MACD line, we can see the wick at the very bottom here, essentially not really giving us a whole lot to work with in this candlestick, not so much to work with in this candlestick either. Same kind of thing with our MACD that are, sorry, the RSI that we're seeing. If we take a look at two hour time frame as well, huge engulfing candle, we can see moving averages are narrowing in. We have been, again, here is our 20, um, sorry, here is our 100 moving average in a lower time frame of two hours. Rejection, rejection, coming back up, trying to retest it as well. They are narrowing in here. So as price again is going to continue to drop as our moving average is shown and as the RSI is showing as well, we may drop just a little bit more of a smidge here, roughly around 0.05051, you know, roughly only 100 
intervals less than the current price right now. And then hopefully we see the RSI in multiple of these time frames just switch over for us. And we see these two lines kind of coming closer together as we want to see weakness of the momentum as our RSI is showing a buying opportunity. Those two hand in hand is going to give us that enough strength to come back up. But if we take a look so far in a four hour session, we haven't even retraced closer to 50% of this actual candlestick itself we need to be able to do that in order to see that hammer candlestick at the very bottom to give us that small little hit it's going to reverse so that's my video here for gala you guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think down below for gala today let me know if you guys are going to be selling today or overall where are you going to think gala is going to end at the end of this year but i'll see you guys next time bye